In this video for positive maths, we're going to learn about axial symmetry. A shape is symmetrical if a line can be drawn through a shape which divides the shape into two halves that are reflections of each other. The line is called the axis of symmetry. So let's look at some shapes. Here, if we draw this dotted line down the middle, we will see that both sides match each other. So if we imagine this was a sheet of paper that we could fold over, if we fold it over, the two halves will lie on top of each other perfectly. So the same thing for the heart. For the smiley face as well. And for the triangle. So the axis of symmetry doesn't always have to be vertical or horizontal. So if we look at the square, for example, this has an axis of symmetry that goes horizontally another axis of symmetry that's vertical, and two that are diagonal. So a shape can have more than one axis of symmetry. The diagram on the right shows a figure and a line. So we have an object and the dotted line. If we fold the page on the dotted line, we would get the image of the figure. So the dotted line is the mirror line, or the reflection line. This is known as axial symmetry, or reflection in a line. We can also have axial symmetry just with one point. Again, we can have it with lines, or we can have it with a shape. For the next activity, we're going to write down the image of each of the following under axial symmetry. So the image of the point A, we want to be careful, it's not E. The image, if we fold it over, A will fall on H. So the point D, again, if we fold it on the dotted line, D would now fall on E. The line segment AB is going to fall on the line segment HG. And the line segment BC is going to fall on the line segment GF. For more information, visit positivemaths.ie, email us at info at positivemaths.ie, and follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching.